That's his true temperament. Yeah. He's a true balanced dog because you can see where Rainy, she still has that in there. Look, look, we're retarded. She's, uh, she, she's jumping around. Uh -huh. Nothing wrong with that cat. Oh, she plays retarded for me. I know. That's what I was like. Play, oh, I'm too sorry for me. I'm retarded. No, you ain't retarded. You, you're nothing wrong with you. Right. She played retarded for me. When I see her, she play retarded. Look at him. He crash up. He get get away from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crash up on her. That's her mother too, bro. Right. That isn't your mom. That's your that's your second mom. That's yeah, right. Look at him. Now I gotta protect her from the cats. You a big you dog. Protect you gonna protect me? Big boy can protect you from the cats. You Look, he go run. He go say, let me check out this one. Me. There's another one coming from behind you, bro. There's another one coming from behind you. I don't know if you know this. Look at him, he in all protection position. <laughs> I'm gonna go while you're out here and I'm waiting for him to poop. I'm gonna grab the bite sleeve real quick and see if I can fire him up. Okay. Come on. 
is going through uh, desensitization training with eating. One thing with conic corsos is that they, not conic corsos, with dogs in general who do protection, is that they become possessive over sleeves, bite tugs, bite jackets, and sometimes it can, you can see a little bit happen with their food and their toys. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to fing fang his meal. We prepared it. He's already ate some uh, kibble, but we have kibble in here with his food. This is called raw, right? So we're going to go ahead and feed him and then I'm going to play with his bowl. So I want to be able to make sure that I'm controlling that temperament, that aggression right now and not trying to do it later when it's full blown set into him. Fang, come here. Come on, buddy. Come on. You okay? Go get it. Go. Come on. All right, I'll come to you. Fang, come on. Oh, good boy. So I'm going to go ahead and put his food down right there. And then I'm going to have to go over and pick his bowl up without him getting aggressive. Fang, good boy. So what I'm going to do so I can pick his bowl up, I'm going to start petting him before I even reach down for that bowl. So he knows that I'm already right here, right? No, I'm like, this is what I always did with rock roller puppies. You want to pet them while they're eating? Especially when they're puppies, right? Because the challenge comes in, it's that I should be able to grab that bowl and pick it up. I should be able to take that bowl and put it down. I should be able to hold his right here while he's eating and pet him or hold the food for him, right? I should be able to walk past him without him growling. So I should be able to walk to my right, my left. And I should be able to walk past him without him worrying about, am I going to mess with his food, right? So that's one of the parts of desensitizing training with a dog, especially when you're training them in protection, is that you want to make sure that you always can come around their bowls and their food, and you can pet them like this while they're eating, right? Bowls and food, and pet him while he's eating. If he tenses up, that means that he is starting to get aggressive. Even if he didn't make a noise, if his body tenses, he's already showing you that, hey, I'm going to get you. So you want, that's the reason why I pet the body, because you know if he's tensed up or not, and he's relaxed. This is like getting a massage while you're eating your food. I, don't, I mean, probably try that. Get a massage while you're eating. <laughs> go eat your food. Right? <laughs> and then I should be able to go. Now, I don't recommend that you stick your hand in a dog's food and play with the food. When it comes to dogs and food, that's not a game. So you just want them to be able to, and, and, and how that all starts is eating from the hand. If a dog starts to get food aggressive, you have to start feeding them from your hand so that that goes away, right? Because it can always be just something triggered, and it can be just that juvenile stage when they do it. But it can become something very major if you don't address it at first. So that's what we're doing with him today. We're working on this impulse training with him, with being able to grab his bow. Fang! I'm going to let him know that I'm going to come near his bow before I do. I'm not just going to grab it, right? So if I was going to walk over, I was, I mean, he was eating, and I wanted to take his food, I would say, Fang! So he has looked up. I pet him. Then I reach down for the bow, right? And I create a distance of space. Now I'm going to put the bow back down. So that starts with sit. Wait. And then once I put the bowl on the ground, I'm going to say, okay, so he knows it's time to eat. Okay. So now at that point, I'm not going to go near the bowl again and mess with him. He's got his food. And when he's done eating, then I'll come back and get the bowl. I just want to make sure that he doesn't start to become aggressive if I go near the bowl or another animal. Sophie, no, Faye. Good boy. Dogs will become territorial space and another animal being near their food is taking up that space. BB between Sophie and his food is giving him comfort, right? It's just you don't mess with a dog and their food, but you also don't want the dog being aggressive when every time you give them food. So, no, Sophie, that's his food. And then I'm going to control the animal that is antagonizing the animal that's eating. <laughs> So then I'm going to protect the animal that's eating and put him in their safe space to eat or take that other animal out of the space if it's becoming more of a problem. So that is Fang. He's doing good. We'll keep monitoring and working on this with his owners at the same time to make sure that he's not getting more aggressive when he's uh, eating food. So I'm Rodriguez Carter with Madison Bell. If you got questions about Raw, 
you can hit us up. You can go to our website, whatnot, whatever, and we get back to you. You guys be good.